Hi, you lovelies, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Linz. So we are going to be testing out the new Ninja Max Pro 6.2 litre with a roast chicken because I think the ultimate test for any of these type of machines is how well it roasts a good chicken. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. I've got a fairly smallish one today, but we shall see. So here I have this here is a 1.2 kg chicken. I'm not sure what that is in pounds. If I remember, I'll pop it up on screen. So many of you in one of the roast chicken, um, I think it was in the jewel, gave suggestions and things like that on, about cooking and stuff like that. So I think we're going to go with your kind of suggestions. I want to get this breast side down in there. Oh, there's plenty of room in there. Plenty of plenty of room. So we're going to have a look there. Basically, what I also want to try and do is throw in some roast or throw in some potatoes and some bits of carrot, and we shall see how that goes. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spray with some oil, keeping it very, very simple. Um, you can put on whatever seasonings you wish, but I want to do... Um, a few other dishes with this during the week so I want to keep the flavor as chicken as possible sorry that was white pepper and just some basic table salt so we're going to pop it in to this little cutie over here and I'm going to put this on now I think I'm going to go with the roast setting but I'm going to bring it down to 180 um, I'll pop Fahrenheit on screen like normal. And we are going to do that for... I'm going to pop it in for half an hour. Now, it is a bit of a smaller chicken, but we'll see. We'll come back after that and we'll go over what we're going to be doing next. So, All right, lovelies, this has just finished its first half an hour. So, oh... Can you see it's looking quite good? But I just want to show you before I take that out and turn it. In here, I have some potatoes and some larger chopped up carrots. Now, I've done this in other videos, but just in case you are new here, basically peeled them, chopped them, and then put them into the microwave for six minutes in this type of container. If you don't have this type of container, any microwavable container with a little bit of um, cling film, wrap over the top as long as it's suitable for the microwave it will work so in here i am just drizzling a bit of vegetable oil and i'm also going to be using some some people have going to mi have missed this for a while this is aromat it's just um i use this normally in place of salt so just going to throw a good bit in there now this is where this sort of container does come in handy so you can pop the lid back on give everything a good swirl and get it coated and it fluffs things up just a tiny bit not much so that's basically that that will do and um, we're going to pull this out now i want to get see what we have here i want to get this chicken turned over so can you see there? Hopefully. So that's looking quite good so far. Should have put some onions in under there maybe, but I was a bit scared that they might not. Um... Ooh, that they might not. They might burn a little bit, shall we say. So what I'm going to do with this now is there is already sort of like a lot of fat on that. And this is probably something you maybe don't need to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to spray a little bit of oil and like we did with the first side just a bit of salt salt actually helps the skin crisp up a little bit as well and then some ground white pepper that's that now we're going to throw in these potatoes you know what just shove it in It'll be fine now we're only having a bit of a small roast today i'm not doing anything overly major so that's that now we're experimenting 
because <laughs> I've not used this wee machine for like the likes of this before. But we're back in there. I am going to put it back on on the roast setting. I'm going to come back down again to 180, and I'm going to put that on for 30 minutes again. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to touch it. We're just going to come back and hope that it's not burnt to a crisp. <laughs> back in a sec. Okay, has everyone got the fingers crossed? I know I have. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, hold on. That ain't looking too shabby, guys. That isn't. So, first of all, we are going to do the all important temperature check. Oh, that skin's so crispy. Yep, that's perfect. If anything, it maybe could have done with 10 minutes less, but I'm not going to complain about that. So we'll get it out and have a look at that veg. Now that's just going to sit now for a little while and um, kind of marinate. Marinate? <laughs> no, it's nice resting. That's what it's doing. Now they're not completely even. Because, you know, I probably should have opened it and had a look. Some of them are quite good. Carrots a little bit. I like them like that, though. So that's that. If you wanted to now at this stage, which I might do just for a few minutes, maybe we'll see, is you could pop them back in or max crisp for maybe five minutes or so. You might want to remove them carrots. No, do you know what? Yeah. I'm going to remove the carrots and just pop them potatoes back in while that chicken's resting. And them carrots will stay quite warm and toasty next to the chicken. Oh, you can hear somebody moaning in the background. They smell it. <laughs> if, you've been, if you've not been here before, that's, I don't know, you can't see them in camera at the minute, but that is my, um, my one of my dogs. I don't know if that's a mistake putting them back in there. It might be, you know. But we'll pop them on for five minutes. Can't do them any harm on Max Crisp. Well, it can do them a lot of harm, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Right, lovelies, I shall be back when they're done and we dished up the chicken and we'll do a taste test. Now, that there, as small as it may be, is my roast chicken dinner. Now, I will say the potatoes, when I put them on for the extra five minutes, I stopped them at three because if I'd have let them go anymore, they would have been destroyed. So, yeah, it worked. It evened them out a little bit, but have a look. I will say this chicken was majorly juicy. And I hope I've managed to get a bit of a shot of that for you. You might have seen it by now. So we're going to try this bit of chicken. You know, I said on the one I done in the Ninja, the 11 and 1, this is Ninja as well, um, that it was one of my best and favourite ways, I think, to cook a whole roast chicken. But after trying that, I'm very, very happy with this machine. A couple of options for gravy there as well. There are a lot of juices in the bottom of this, and you could have made up the gravy then on the hob. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Unfortunately, it just I just haven't got the energy to do that today. So I am going to save them. They're going to go into the pressure cooker and you'll have to come back and see the video for that so yeah lovelies thanks very much once again for being here 
all your support it has just all amazed me and blown me away okay <laughs> before i get emotional again what happened there i don't know but i <laughs> just want to say a massive thank you and just remember to keep being you you're awesome and i shall either talk to you down in the comments over on another video or yeah on the next day <laughs> bye for now lovelies